Hey what's up guys back with another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install macOS Catalina on VirtualBox on Windows in a new method. For the interest of full disclosure this video is for educational purposes only. So let's get started. Alright folks so for this procedure we are gonna need a few stuff. The first thing we need to pick is VirtualBox with its extension pack. Next up we will need macOS Catalina ISO image file. Although the macOS Catalina ISO image file is completely easy to get from the links we have provided, with that though, you can definitely create it from your Mac. One more thing we need to get is VirtualBox boot image file. Another thing we will need for the installation is code for VirtualBox or commands for VirtualBox. For entering the complete screen resolution, we will need the macOS Catalina screen resolution code. And for extracting these files, we are gonna need WinRAR or 7-zip that works fine. So go ahead and take a copy of all these files from the links to these files from the description down below. And when you are done with it, extract them all and let's move into it. In case if you encounter some sort of problems when downloading, you can always fix it from the instructions link in the description down below. So with that done, let's do this thing. So start by launching the VirtualBox setup and install it as usual. Go ahead and next with a few simple wizards and when you are done with it, click finish. When the VirtualBox appeared, click on preferences, then extensions, browse for it and click on install. Agree with the terms and conditions and click ok. Then click ok on the window. Now click on new, then click on export mode. Give out the machine a name, specify where to store the machine files, then set up 50% of your system's memory and for hard disk, select create a virtual disk now and at the end click on create. Now go ahead and change the disk size to 100GB by typing 100 there and select VMDK for the hard disk type and click on create. Once that's done, click on settings, then system and change the chipset to the another one. Next to the processor step, increase the amount of processor to half of your system and head to the next step which is display, scroll the video memory to the highest and change the graphics controller to VMX VGA. Now for making changes to the disk, navigate to the storage tab and click on the disk icon, then move to the disk icon at the top left and click choose a disk file. Now open the macOS Catalina ISO file, then click on the controller option and click on the disk and click on add then choose the VirtualBox boot image file. Then click on choose. Now from the USB tape change the USB version to 3.0 and when you are done click on ok. Then close out of the VirtualBox by closing it. Now navigate to the commands for VirtualBox and open it. Then press Ctrl H and write down your virtual machine name in the first tab. Then type macOS Catalina in the second tab and click replace all. Then copy and paste the first line of the command and then open the command prompt and paste it in there then hit enter. Do the same with the second line of the command by copying and pasting into command prompt then hit enter. When it's all done, close out of the things and open VirtualBox and start the machine. Once it finished booting, continue with the language window, then select disk utility from the window and click on continue. Here select the first disk and click on erase. Write down a name for the disk and without changing something else, click erase. Once that's finished, click done and close out of the window. Then select install macOS option and click on continue. Continue with the next window and agree with the terms and conditions then click on continue. Then select the disk and hit on install. It will install macOS Catalina on VirtualBox. Once that's done, continue with the installation by continuing with a few simple wizards, creating your account and eventually the macOS Catalina will be installed on the VirtualBox. Now without you might have realized, the only thing remaining is the small screen resolution. So for this, close the machine from the top then select power of the machine and click OK. 
then close the virtual box now open the screen resolution code and open the command prompt then copy the first line of the command and paste it into the command prompt then hit enter then copy and paste the next line of the command to the command prompt and hit enter then close the command prompt and the window now open the virtual box back again and start the machine it will open the machine in the specific resolution so when it's up for the full screen resolution press right control plus f and click on switch log in there and that's it with this step you have eventually installed macos catalina on virtualbox that should work perfectly fine but if the mouse is lagging or the keyboard doesn't work power off the machine and from the settings change the usb version so that will work fine now you can enjoy installing new apps explore things out and catch all there it is and that's pretty much all to there it is if you enjoyed the video reach out to our next video by hitting like on our video and subscribing to our channel until the next video have a nice time and wish you all the best